Hey everybody, this is a tutorial for um, your strip eyelash application. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing some regular everyday lashes um, tonight and not the big monsters that I normally wear. Um, so these are good, these are really easy to go on. Um, so if you want to see how I did it, just keep watching. Um, the first thing I want to do is just show you guys a few different types of lashes um, that you can get and some that's you know suitable for, suitable for you. Um, these are just regular lashes from the hair store and I think those were $1.99 and these are <clears throat> from the hair store as well. They're more um, these are, are going to start at your outer corner. They're going to start from the outside and go um, probably till about the middle of your eye. This is just to give you that little wing on the end that a lot of girls like. Um, so this is not a whole lash, but um, it's really good as well. Um, and then, of course, my big um, 301 lashes. These are the ones that I normally wear from um, the costume store. And they're about $4. And this is another pair different style from the costume store as well um, and I really like these um, I got them from Morris Customs and if you live in Charlotte you probably know what that is um, and a couple different pair from MAC um, that I also like to wear um, these two are similar but um, if you notice the ones on the top if they flare out more and they're a little thicker the ones on the bottom they're a little longer they go out the long ways um but they're made up just about the same and these are some favorites of mine from mac and also these from mac these are so pretty on um they're big they're full um and they're not overpowering so i really like those um the ones that i'm going to show you guys today though are these little natural lashes right here if you can see them I use these a lot um, on brides and for proms and stuff like that. Um, and they're really good too. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is take my eyelash curler. You want to always curl your lashes before applying false lashes. Um, this makes them a little easier to go on and also um, it's going to curl, your lashes is going to curl with the false eyelashes um, once you put them on and they look, you know, a lot more natural you don't have to worry about any um, of your hair sticking you know straight out once they're curled um, it's also not a bad idea to go ahead and um, pluck the straight hairs once you get your lashes curled um, and if there are some that's still sticking out straight just go ahead and pluck those um, and all you're going to do is just put the eyelash curler up to your eye don't go too close to where you're going to pinch the meat on your eye just go close enough to your um to the bed um, of your eyelid right where your lashes start to grow and then you're just going to put your lashes in Let's see if I can get close enough for you guys can see and just curl them up and just hold it there for a couple seconds Okay, I'm gonna do that one more time. And just curl them up. You can get an eyelash curler from any beauty supply store, drug store, um, places like that. So now that they are curled, next thing I'm gonna do is um, <clears throat> get out my mascara. I'm using Mary Kay Love Lash Mascara. And I'm just gonna lightly coat my lashes. Okay, um, the next thing I'm going to do, let me show you guys a couple different types of glue first. Um, let me show you what you don't want to use when you're doing your lashes. Um, no hair glue. Don't want to use hair glue. Um, hair glue is for your hair and eyelash glue is for your eyes. Um, so you don't want to do that. Um, we have the Debu lash glue this is waterproof and this is actually um, the dark color 
and then they also have a clear and waterproof as well and then I have the Envy right here 16 hour adhesive and this one is also um, jet black and this is some good glue as well I um, it doesn't matter to me which one I use just because um, the clear the white glue is gonna dry clear and and the black glue is just gonna dry black which is the color of your lashes so that's not gonna matter um, because you won't be able to see it anyway um, get you a pair of scissors handy um, you're gonna want to have these handy just because when you get ready to place the lash on your um, on your lash and if it needs to be cut you're gonna you're probably gonna have to trim it nine times out of ten unless you um, you're, you have big you know beautiful eyes or something if they're you know really big and your eyelids are really you know are long and can actually fit the regular size and you won't have to cut it but um, most people have to cut it so um, and just to fit it all you're going to do is just place it with your fingers um, just try to place it as best you can on your lash and just see if it'll even fit first of all and you can just lay it up there any you know doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to take it off and glue it back on okay and I am going to have to take a little bit off and I'm going to take it off on the edge right here and then I'm going to get my glue I'm going to use this um, 16 hour envy glue right here this dark glue and all I'm going to do is line the lash, um, the, the line of the lash. I'm going to show you as soon as I get the glue on here. And this is all you're going to do is just line it just like that with your glue. Okay, and we're going to blow it just for a couple seconds to let that dry. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure you have your tweezers handy. You're going to definitely need your tweezers. Um, it's a lot easier, and if you have on eye makeup, it won't mess your eye makeup when you use your tweezers. So I'm going to put, I'm going to hold this lash with my tweezers like so. Get it in the middle blow on it for a couple seconds to let it dry. You don't want to get it all the way dry, just a little tacky. It's about 20 seconds I would say to be good and ready. And all I'm going to do is place the lash um, to my, um, as close as I can to my lash line. Get it directly on it, but do not touch your skin because you don't want to have a separate um, space there to where it's like your lash, skin, and then a fake lash. So just get as close as you can. do is press that down on there. I'm going to pull the outside and lay it on my lash line and then I'm going to pull the inside and do this very same thing. Okay and when you let it dry and sit just like we did um, and let it get kind of tacky it's easier to stick to your lashes um, because it's not like when you have glue on there and it's not totally dry it doesn't have anything to adhere to so to speak and it's not tacky all it's going to do is slide off so you're going to want to get it just a little bit dry um, once I have them on um, I'm going to mesh them together with my fingertips just like this And all I'm doing is um, meshing my lash onto the um, false lash. And that's it. And this is what it looks like. So it's real simple. It's really easy. It's quick. Um, it does take practice. Um, but, I mean, you guys can get it. You can, you can do it. It's not hard at all. Um, so this is it for this tutorial. 
Um, I don't have anything extra to show you tonight because I'm not wearing any makeup or anything um, other than the lashes. Um, I did use my um, MAC um, retractable pencil for my brows and spiked and that's it. Um, so thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing if you have and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.